Good afternoon. My name is Kayla Live, aka the main character cultivator. I'm the founder and CEO of Rebrand Land, home of the main character, where we teach you how to be the center of your story. Listen, if you're watching this right now, you've probably identified throughout this entire conference that there is something burning inside of you, something that is itching at you to get out. It's probably that main character that's been hidden down below for a, a long time. Now, understand this. I, it hasn't always been a, a time that I've been the main character, right? Even though my personality has always been there. As a child, I had a lot of fears that were placed on me that were only adult emotions. What that looked like is someone telling me that I was too aggressive which really just translated into my passion. Someone telling me that I was compulsive, that I was taking up way too much space because the fear of me stepping into my full purpose is not something that they had ever accomplished before. See, being the main character of your story doesn't mean that you're taking up someone else's story. It doesn't mean that you are stepping into someone else's life. It simply means you're stepping into your own. Here's a couple of things that I want you to think about as you step into your own story this last day of our conference. One, to be the main character of your story, you're gonna have to dive deep. Dive deep to understand where those emotions emotions came from. See, I didn't understand that my main character, not even syndrome, but identity, my identity of being the main character came from me understanding the promise that I have always had on my life, understanding exactly what my goal was, understanding exactly what I've been placed on this earth in at the age of six years old. I knew exactly what I was supposed to do, but see the adults around me couldn't understand or comprehend a child being so strong and what she felt. So what they said was, oh no, you're doing too much. You've got to calm down. You, you can't take up this much space. You can't, you're speaking too loud, relax. You're going to take the attention of everyone else around you. You're gonna take up their space. And subsequently by me trying to take my empathicness and not take up the space of others, I, I cowered in my own box. I placed myself in a box because I did not want my personality to overshadow others. I did not want my truth was, my talents was to overshadow the next person. And now as an adult, I realized that was all fear. Diving deep into your main character identity means that you are diving deep to understand exactly what your purpose is, exactly what your goal is and why you're doing it, your direct why. Not the why that you can go out and tell everybody else, oh, I'm doing this because it's gonna benefit humanity. No, why are you doing the exact thing that you're doing right now? That's why you're the main character of your story. Rebrand Land was created for a sense of black women coming together and making sure that they are living in their complete and total truth, which brings me to point two, understanding that your truth is your truth. It does not take away from anyone else's story. It does not take away from anyone else's experiences, but your experience matters. Your story matters. The way it happened to you, what happened to you and who did it to you, baby, it matters. So you've got to go comfortable into your own main character identity to say, this is my truth. And no matter what took place, no matter who was around, I want to acknowledge what happened to me because... All of those tiny little experiences, all of those things that happen to you, they make sense now. They make sense now as to who you are and why you are and what your purpose is on this earth. So when you're stepping into your business, when you're stepping into your brand and you're looking at everything, you're saying, this, this is it, y'all. This is it. Understand that there's not going to be many people around you that's going to get it because the promise was made to you and you alone. Now, will you be able to go and find a team that's out here that's going to be excited about exactly what you're doing? Absolutely. But if you never find that person yet, you have to be so confident in what you're doing to know that you are on the right track, that the promise that has been laid on your life is on purpose. It's intentional. Luke 137 says, but every word spoken by God is possible. By the mere existence of you today, you are possible. You are the main character. You are the reason people are showing up to your business every day. You are the reason why your family gets up in the morning. You are the reason why your legacy is being planted and it's going to change. You are the reason. And so in order for everyone else to get behind that, you have to get behind you. 
You have to get behind who you are. You have to be your biggest cheerleader. Just in case you never meet anyone that cheers in your background. But listen to me, main character. Here in Rebrand Land, we are your biggest cheerleader. I am cheering for you. I love you and I care for you and your story. It matters. I want you to stand up, stand tall, stand bold, and say exactly what you need to say. Tell your story exactly how it happened to you because you matter. Everything you do matters. Every vision that you've had in your head matters. It may not make sense today, but what you need to do is write it down. Write it down, main character, because the visions, the downloads, the settings that are being placed in your head, it might not be for you to act on right now. It may be for when you recognize your own power. And then that vision is going to come right back to you. And you're going to be ready to put that vision right into the world. Why? Because it's your gift. See, one of the things that I help my main characters understand and every main character that comes into touch with me is that the purpose that's been placed on your life is so intentional, so important. It is literally your God gift. It is the gift that God has given you to move forward. So why would he make it so that everyone else understands? It's not meant for everyone to understand. It's simply meant for you. So the words and the things that are, are bubbling inside of you throughout this conference, you're hearing a lot of things stir up inside of you and you're like, wow, that's me. That's me. That's me. I'm telling you right now, look at me. This message is for you. Be the main character of your story. Live in your truth because your truth matters. See, a lot of people don't understand that when I was young, I had a whole identity crisis and I had no idea about it. My name was not the same as everyone else in my family. I come from a blended family. I'm the oldest on my mother's side of three, but I'm number four of 19 on my father's side. And I didn't understand what that looked like. When my mother got married, I didn't understand who I was. And guess what? No one took the time to explain it to me. But the only things I kept hearing in my life were, you're holy, you're set apart. You have a light that's inside of you. It's different. You're not always going to connect with everyone. You're going to connect with the people you're supposed to. And I'm telling you that right now, main character. You are connecting with the individuals you are supposed to. So don't get down on yourself because you haven't reached that lead or you didn't get that, that client or you know someone backed out. You weren't supposed to. And the only thing that you have to do from this point forward is keep planting your seed, baby. Plant that seed and water it. Move forward, water it some more. Go back to that seed, check on it. Because guess what? It's your time. It's your time to shine. It's your time to be the main character of your story because everyone's waiting to hear what you've got to say. Not what the next person's got to say. Not that they want to know what happened to you. Another thing that I need you to understand is that your story, no matter how it happened, is valid. You do not, look at me, you do not need to have a get it out the mud story for it to be valid and important. Because the mere fact that you have told your story gives everyone the right and inspires others to tell theirs. You don't know how many people can relate to you. You don't know how many people you can touch. You don't know what type of healing you're doing by just saying, hey, this is what happened and this is me. Be the main character of your story. Live your best life. Do those things that are important to you because it's important for you, because it's important for your legacy, because it's important for your future. This is your chance. This is your shot. You are in the right moment. You are in the right space. You made the right choice. I know you're sitting back and saying, man, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have quit that job. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have left that relationship. I should have just, God, it's hard out here. See, God's going to break you down before he builds you back up because he wants to see how strong your faith is and how you're really going to stick to that promise that he gave you. And I'm telling you right now, main character, I'm standing behind you 100% of the way. We are with you 100% of the way. No matter if you never meet me a day in your life, no, Kayla Life is here for you. And you only, because I can't wait to see what your legacy brings. I can't wait to see what you're putting forth on the earth because you're not doing this for yourself. And you know that visionary. 
You're not doing this for yourself and you know that legacy builder. You're not doing this just for the moment. You're doing this for the future. So your grandbabies, babies can eat. You feel me? This is for you. This is for your legacy. This is for your family. And this is just how we go get it done. Once again, my name is Kaylin Life. I am the founder and CEO of Rebrand Land. Be the main character of your story. And we're waiting for you. Come be the answer to the fresh start. Kayla Life, everybody. Kayla Life, everybody. <laughs> What's good, y'all? Good. You shut it down now. What you got to say? Listen, listen, it's been such an impactful conference. I am, you know, when you told me I was coming on the last day, I was like, you know, naturally save the best for last. But I see <laughs> the divineness of why you did what you did because everything was strategically aligned in place. And if you don't know that, I'm going to tell you right now, I watch order. I watch the way things happen. I'm like, all right, I, I see what she's doing here. I see what's happening. Shout out to y'all. I've engaged with so many people during this conference, met so many people, having more conversations with so many people next week. So I love you guys to life. I want you guys to know that. Um, and, and I wanted to share something with you. Actually, if we have a little bit of time, um, I went to another conference. So while I was speaking here, I was speaking somewhere else. And I told this guy asked me, he said, so what do you do? I said, I'm a visionary implementer. He's like, what? Yeah, I implement visions. He's like, you can't be two, two at the same thing, two of the same thing. You can't be two at the same time. I said, how you figure? Because you've never seen it before. Let me show you some. What they say the word for, for this conference was, huh? What happened? Let me show you some. <laughs> let, me show, let me show you how we're going to implement these visions because it can't just keep sitting up here. See, what you're used to is someone being a visionary and big and bold and up. They just got grand ideas and they never put it out into the world. That's not what happens here. You meet a visionary that has a, a plan and has organization and has structure. And now your baby's coming to life. And now you can step forth into your full calling, your full passion without having to break it away. I ain't going to keep giving y'all too much right now. I, I, I ain't going to keep doing that with y'all. But if you want to connect with me, you know where to find me. I love y'all to life. I love y'all to life. We love you too, mama. So, 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 so dope. Yeah, they they energized in the chat. Um, Y'all definitely, as always, drop your questions in the Q&A panel. Uh, raise your hand and I'll bring you on stage. We have several questions. Um, so I'm going to start with them. Okay. So, Kayla, the first one comes from Kathy and she says, chef's kiss to it all. How do I get out of that supporting character mentality? You got to realize you can't keep supporting everybody else's journey and dream before you support yours. That's the easiest short version of me putting it that way. You're probably sitting down in your nine to five or your nine to thrive, as my big sister O said, and you're trying to figure out how is it that I'm going to walk into me? Well, you've already you've already determined that you have to walk into you. Get behind yourself. Take that same uh, workshop that our big sis Tess, uh, Tess Ford just gave us and dive into your inner child. Talk to you. What is it that people have been trying to tell you over and over and over again, but you're not listening? Or what have people been trying to stop you from doing? That's how you determine who your main character self is. You keep putting other people before who you are. You also have to understand that self-care is not selfish. And when you think about yourself, you're not hurting anyone else. Everyone is out for self-interest and so should you. That doesn't mean that you hurt people or harm people with your speech or your words or any of that nature. You step into you. You do what's best for you, whether that be your calling, your vision, your passion. Do what's going to move you forward. OK, but you have to determine who you are first. You have to figure out who that main character is. Similar to, you know, myself, I never thought that I would be a speaker because at the age of four, I was told that I didn't know how to speak. Yeah, four years old. Let me give you a brief story. I was four years old. I did not know the difference between give and gave. My white Catholic teacher told me, you're stupid. You don't know how to speak. You can't be on the stage. And I went home and cried. Now, my, my mama, a big Chris, <laughs> she wasn't playing them games. She went and did what needed to be done. I got swapped into another class. And I had a black teacher, woman. That sat and looked at me. She said, I'm about to teach you the difference between give and gave. And you're going to get up on that stage. You're going to talk. 
So if you go on my social media, you see me with a, with a mic in my hand just talking because that's me healing my inner child. Be your own main character. So good. So, 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 so good. Um, I'm going to pivot over to a person that's raised their hand. Um, Chandrill, I'm bringing you up, mama. Listen, I know y'all tired of hearing me, honey, but that's okay. Never. I need y'all to know my never, voice. Never. I need you to know it well because I thought that I like every other day, but when I tell you motivational speaking is my passion and when I hear another woman that is telling my story, I'm going to get in here, I'll get up here and I need y'all to hear my voice and hear it real good because when you hear it, you're going to know it's me. Do you hear me? I've yes, been all we my hear. life, honey, Kayla, you aggressive. I said, no, oh, you loud? No, I'm a passionate speaker, okay? And everybody tried to make it seem like something was wrong with me. I say nothing wrong with me. I'm passionate about what I what comes out of my mouth. And that's what it is. Everybody, want, they want to shut your gift down. But that's what the enemy do. He work on you while you young. So when you become an adult, you don't have a voice. But you got to find that voice. Sis, Alyssa, I was trying to come up here when O came up here. I said, I was going to ask her. Before you even came up, I was going to ask her, I was like, I wonder um, what she, like, had, what the people it always tell her she was loud and stuff because the passion in her voice, it's just like, you you just know when a person it has that passion in their voice. Like, that's what speaks to my soul. Like, a passionate speaker. Somebody who, yes, yes, sis, yes. That's what I'm saying. A passionate speaker. They tried to shut me down too. And I knew I found my voice again, and I said, "I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start um, speaking for the women who they trying to call aggressive and all. No, you're not aggressive. You're passionate. There's a difference. And they just see people judge what they don't understand. That's the problem. People judge what they don't understand, and it's okay if you don't understand us. We understand us. So when I see your light, you see my light. We know. Hey, that's that's my person right there. Okay." Thank you, mm -hmm. Kayla. Thank you, Miss. Oh, thank y'all. Okay. I love y'all. Y'all got me hyped. Look, listen, I will cry my eyes out now. I'm running around the house going crazy. Like, listen, I done told God, I'm like, God, put me in, coach. Put me in because they, they need to hear me. They need to hear me. Do you hear me? Listen, listen. I'm not going to take up all y'all time, but listen, listen. Sis in the chat said, um, you on the next uh summit? Listen, Casey. Listen, I'm available. I'm huh? available. I'm available. I'm, available. I'm available. There he is. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. Y'all, y'all love you, Alexis. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Mama. Y'all better light it up up in here. We celebrating this day five. We did what we came to do. We celebrate. King, I love it. I'm gonna bring another person to the stage, Kayla. Um, I have that I haven't heard from, so I'm excited. We have Alba coming to the stage. Alba, the the mic is yours, Mama. You gotta come off a of mute though. I hear you. Now. <laughs> oh my God, listen, you got me in tears at the beginning. <laughs> How are you? I'm so excited. Hi, Alba. I, um, you got me in tears because um. Yeah, in, 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 I am a cancer, a cancer survival twice. So I usually don't say that. I don't say that story because um I don't want to be, oh, I don't want to play a victim story. But when you say, no, that's your story and you're going to heal people and impact people that way. So I say, you know what? I am a survival and I'm proud of it. I'm not a victim. So you, <laughs> you listen i was just crying crying thank you for this space we need it so much we need to heal together as a community we need to continue having these spaces sacred safe for us to voice our pain to voice our stories to voice everything inside of us we don't have enough of this and i'm so out i press all of you, all of the speakers in inspiring me because sometimes I feel like I'm in a silo by myself, you know, and, and it's just so wonderful to connect with amazing women like you. You don't like you don't understand because like you, like my family is like under 
the you know the crazy one the one that you know yeah it's like they're always thinking out of the box because that's that's who i am and i used to be as a cypher and now i don't care what they call me i'm just going forward and connect with women like you and keep on like uh yes just connecting with amazing women like you so my question is like how did you overcome that all of the criticism and the fa and your family being like this is a different child how do you handle how do you overcome all of that especially with the family and some of the friends yeah people who co are your I friends want, i want to leave you with alva is you have to change the way the words and the adjectives have been placed on you to mean something important to you i thrive in crazy i thrive in it I, yep crazy as hell yep i'm all that i'm all that uh-huh because once you become confident in what you are and who you are. Nothing anyone else says matters. Not your family, not your friends, not your counterparts, not your partner. None of that matters, right? So think about all those things that people have told you and identify with it, right? That or dispel it. That's me, that's not me. That's me, that's not me. Your version of aggressive is not me. My version of aggressive is me. Right? Mm. And either you're going to stand and walk in it with me or you're going to go to the wayside and watch this work. Right? <laughs> you have to be so confident in that. That is how you be. You take away anything anyone has ever told you. And also understand that your path is yours. Right. Like my I don't come from a family full of entrepreneurs. I don't come from a family that are mm -hmm. business owners or anything like that. So I've always been called rebellious. But is it rebellious because I'm not following what you're telling me to do mm -hmm. and walking in my own calling? Right. Because that's what I feel like it is. And even now, my I just had a conversation with my own father and he said, you know, I was never worried about you because you always did what you wanted to do and you always thrived in it. Right. Yeah. Did I have bumps in the road? Of course. <laughs> Did mm -hmm. I fall sometimes? Of course. But I stayed true to what I knew and what was mm -hmm. burning inside of me, regardless of what people were doing. So the best thing I can give to you is block the noise, because that's all it is. It's noise. It's chatter. It's chit chat. No one's helping. It's not useful. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. What am I mm -hmm. good say, say? Weak ass advice. That's what it is. <laughs> weak ass advice it's not supposed to live anywhere inside of you so please first of all i'm honored that you this is the first time you spoke and you spoke with me and so i want to cherish that and say thank you for coming up here and sharing your story and sharing what you have survived and sharing what you're going through and when you go when not if when you go and tell more people what you've experienced I promise you, not only are you going to heal others, but you're going to heal yourself. Mm, mm. Ache, ache. Thank you, sister. Thank you. I thank love you. you. Thank you. I love you too. Thank you, my thank sister. Thank you, Alva. You're welcome. Thank you. So, so, so good. Steve Jobs, the Steve Jobs said, here it is. He said, those who think they are crazy enough to change the world usually do. Period. Mm -hmm. He put a period on that. He said, Steve Jobs, he created Apple, right? He said, those who think that they are, those who are crazy enough, he said, those who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world usually do. Yep. I say. <laughs> like, I say, I say, I say. Um, super dope. I'm going to, Ashley, I'm going to try again now. We're going to try. Y'all Y'all praying for Ashley out there? She raised her hand. I'm going to pull up Ashley. She's going to get it this time. <laughs> Saints come now. Pray Saints. Come on, yeah. We see you, Christy. Christy, come, come on, on. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on now. Yeah. The Saints praying come on. now. Come on, Ashley. Get it. Come on, Ashley. Ashley. You gonna pull it through. We gonna pull it through. Yo, go. Oh. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Ashley. Come on, Ashley. Come on, yeah. Ashley. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Ashley. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley, unmute yourself, I you And we in this thing. The, the, literally, the world is holding their breath, okay? Come on, Ashley. Come on, Ashley. Come on, Ashley. Come on, Ashley. Come on. All right, Ashley. Well, let, let me see something, sis, now. We got five minutes left, so I'm going to have to keep on going. But we're going to try but again. You're closer and closer because it's the longest you've ever been up here now. 
You you closer than you ever been, sis. You closer than you ever been. Oh, oh, oh. Ashley? It's Hi. not coming. Hi. 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 <laughs> Ashley probably got a delay. But, man, Ashley, say what you're going to say, sis. Oh, hey, all right, that's okay. But listen, the saints were praying. The saints pulled it through. Let me tell you something. The energy was flowing. We did what needed to be done, huh? All right, so this, oh, you got a lot of, <laughs> you have a lot of um, flowers. Sis, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go down the line. So um, Andrea said, yes, <laughs> that is all. Um, Jasmine Prince, my girl Jazz, she said, Kayla Life is such a fitting name for you, sis, Ashe. The way you spoke life into all of us is just incredible. Ashe, Ashe. Um, Chrissy, Chrissy said, Kayla, thank you for those powerful words. More often than not, we place everyone and everything above self in this life. You're speaking life into us. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Uh, Cheryl said, you are the truth and the life. Come on now. Me and you next Wednesday, boo. Thank you, Jim. No, Get thank you. Now. We're doing it. <laughs> hey, Ashe, I love it. And then Alexis says, thank you for the confirmation. Continue to speak life. Ashe. I hold my heart often because this is where I place y'all, right here in my heart. So, you know, everyone's got their own little mannerisms. I realize that's what I do because when you touch my heart, I got to touch mine. I got to physically touch my heart and say, yo, this is this is lit. Y'all are lit. This is one of those things. That I was like, wow, I didn't even know what I'm stepping into. <laughs> Someone I didn't know about Blaze. My good sis Nani put me on the Blaze. She wasn't, in, it wasn't even here, <laughs> you know. So I appreciate um, just being here. I appreciate you guys' openness. Willingness to be yourself, willingness to walk into your true calling, your true self, and your full main character. Because we need you. We deserve it. You deserve it. And you deserve you. Yeah. I say, well, Kayla, I appreciate you so much. You know, we already got our time calendar for the top of the year. So I look forward I to it. Uh, <laughs> love you, sis. I love you deep. Thank you so much. I love y'all. Peace. All right, now, y'all, the day is quickly okay because we flying through them now the day is quickly coming to a close okay remember we're ending the day with the dj set so that we end on a high note because it's usually some crying up in here and i'm, I'm trying listen i'm trying to do the best to lift the spirits okay <laughs> but it has to end <laughs> i will not be i will not be giving a speech okay literally these ladies are ushering us out ushering me out as well so we are ending the day at 4 p.m eastern with a dj set from charlotte's finest DJ Fannie Mae. She's going to be spinning on the ones and twos. Okay. Um, I will benedict us out. I will give a benediction right after her set ends. Okay. Um, but the summit ends at five. The summit ends at five. The summit ends at five officially. Okay. So prepare your hearts and minds for that. Okay. Get what you need in these spaces because it is quickly wrapping to a close. Um, next up, we are going to have a Blaze Talk from Jasmine Murphy by the name of The Power of Her, all caps on power, The Power of Her. Before we go over there, I want to shout out to those who are leading on the win uh, the leaderboard right now because I am announcing the 15 winners of the Blaze NFTs, the first mints that Blaze will do in history, and we're going to mint plenty, but these will be founding holders of our first mints, okay? Um... Tiffany Brown is number one. Anika Leonard has slid into number two. Sharita has slipped to number three. Wendy is number four. Kathy is number five. Winnie Quick is number six. Y'all better. Uh, number seven is Chrissy. Number eight is Alexis. Number nine is Dana. Number 10 is Sharon. Okay, Sharon. Number 11 is Erica Underdog coming out of nowhere and taking the 11th spot. Nicole Player is number 12. Anika Jones is number 13. Twin to Anika Leonard. Number 14 is Victoria. And number 15 is Cheryl. It is still anybody's game. There is still time. Okay. Okay. And uh, remember, engaging is how you get your points. You can always go to the leaderboard and hit the earn points tab to see how you are able to earn points, okay? Uh, full transparency, right? Good luck. All right, I'll see you on the other side. Peace.